When the duo Millie Vanilli took the stage in the 80s, their charisma was magnetic and their choreography seamless. But the superstars became villains when audiences realized they'd been singing to the voices of other men concealed behind the curtain. Our very own Julian Soto talked with Millie Vanilli's Fab Morvan and director Lou Corum about a new film that sets the record straight as to how it all went down and asks if the power of redemption can have the final say. One minute Millie Vanilli were there. Millie Vanilli. Millie Vanilli. And the next minute they weren't. A group that went through its peaks and then tumbles. Why was it important to put the story out now? Uh, well, it has nothing to do with now. It's because it took so long to find the right people. Look, Kerm is the man was the man for the job. And his angle was a human angle. It was really, his goal was to have people walk through in our shoes essentially and he did that then there was the inner working at the music industry and then you know the the the, war, the inner wars that we went into as well and the fact that people pointed the fingers at robin fab when in fact there was a whole machine that was behind that was backing it up i'm really glad that now we did it we did it properly and people are going to be exposed to it so i say buckle up they don't want us to sing what this is weird. We don't want to lip sync. Someone had to have known this was going on. We were seduced, we were abused, and been happy that it's over. And so for this, do you feel like you could maybe change the industry? Because you see how the industry just takes advantage sometimes, and then for everybody to see your story and be like, oh, this, we could do better from this. Well, I think that um, people are more savvy now. We, work in a, we live in a different time. People are more aware now. The standards are different. Back then, I got crucified for everything. But now, if you look at TikTok, lip syncing is, a, is at the top. You see, so, but it's okay. People do what they do today. If some artists do lip sync, but they do what they do. And look right there, the man. Come, 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 come on, come on, come on, man. Because of this man, we were able to, to put it together and put it together properly with Bradley Jackson, his partner. And so he, you got the biggest compliment that you saw their vision. Well, what was it that you saw in that that you really need to put this out for them? Well, I think it was, you know, Millie Vanilli is a story that's made such an indelible mark in pop music history, but people only know, like, the headlines. As much as people want to say, oh, I know that story, they only know the surface. And what I wanted to do is really tell the human story. And uh, not only of just Robin Fab, but everyone who was involved with Millie Vanilli, even the real singers and, like, the journey that they went through. And additionally, expose the pop music machine and peel back the curtain and let people see this is an entire machine of people that were involved with this deception. It wasn't just Robin Fab. There is not another story like this in music history. The Millie Vanilli documentary is now streaming on Paramount Plus.